I am Patrick Pistoresi, the master mixologist of Neo Cocktails and the founder of Drink Kong. Here we are. Here is all my experience I've gained throughout the years. The passion for my job, my continuous endeavor to reach perfection, be innovative, and be original. I like giving the personal touch to every cocktail I craft with my hands and with my imagination. Expertise, research, innovation, all of this at your home, thanks to Neo Cocktails. Cocktail by cocktail, story by story. Welcome to the Cocktail Revolution. Today we're talking about Her Majesty the Gin. One of the drinks that I love the most is the Gimlet. We have it here with Neil. Let me talk a little bit about this drink. The Gimlet was, has a lot of history and was one of those drinks that were born just for a need. The British Empire at the time had two big companies, the East Indian Company and the Company of the Caribbean. Both were going one side to the other, you know, with the Royal Navy. At one part, they would drink a tot of gin, and the other part, they would drink a tot of rum. In this case, we talk of the Indies part. While going towards India, uh, the um, British Navy actually witnessed a lot of um, illness on, on board. Imagine these guys staying on a boat for months with, you know, uh, no, no water, no fresh water, no fresh meat. So it must have been very, very tough. You had to be a big, big man to be in the Navy. So at the time, the Royal Navy had to witness more than one illness on board. One was malaria, of course, and uh, that's another story. The quinine, that's in the tonic, then the gin and tonic was born, but that's not a story. Let's talk about ours today. We're talking about scurvy. The fact of scurvy at the time, they didn't know how to cure it. Eventually they knew it, and they knew that vitamin C was essential not to get scurvy. How do you bring vitamin C on a boat? Well, you know, at the beginning they would get a lot of citrus, but in time, as I told you, while sailing for months and months and months, the citrus would go off. How do you keep that so? They invented the cordial, the lime cordial. So at night, in the evening, when they had their tot of gin, they would add the lime cordial so to give either the party, the party, the, 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 the tot of gin, you know, after a long day, and the vitamin C, and that is how the gimlet is born. I find this very amazing. Let's go and make the drink. Put our protagonista, the ice. Let's get our cocktail. Most of you don't know who made this drink famous was the father of all our bartenders, well, the father, maybe the uncle. The father would be Jerry Thomas, but a very, very big uncle would be Harry Craddock in the Savoy cocktail book. He used to work, obviously, at the American Bar of the Savoy. Fantastic super history over there. And yes, here is the gimlet. We go at the pour. I absolutely love this drink. This is uh, fairly strong, could be a nice aperitivo. The lime, the, the lime cordial makes it super, super refreshing. Now, as we were talking about lime, I would like to garnish it with a simple slice of lime. To the Royal Navy! Salute! Ah. 
If you like what you saw, follow us on our channels, follow us on YouTube, our social media, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and maybe a thumbs up. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon. Ciao.